What's up, guys? Saturday, so of course it's uh, time to preview the uh, Dallas Cowboys with Detroit Lions, and uh, gotta say I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I wasn't beforehand, you know, but the, you know, early in the season, you know, the Detroit Lions were playing well, and it looked like this game could be for positioning in the playoff, even for us. Uh, now it looks like uh, one team, us, are just fighting for the number one seed, and uh, Detroit Lions are fighting for their playoff lives. They've dropped four straight, I think is what I've heard last. And uh, it doesn't look good for them now. Dallas is hot right now. Uh, just came off beating the Green Bay Packers and looking to uh, knock out the Lions as well. We're also here to uh, knock out that uh, John Kitten guarantee of winning ten games. Uh, sorry, man. Looks like we're going to have to uh, disappoint your team once again because if you lose seven, you can't win ten in the regular season. So, um also, John Kitna talking last year about how T. New didn't know where he looked, didn't look like he knew where he was going. Same with Brady James. I can kind of understand saying that, you know, last year, but he should have. I, I guess he wished that the schedule had come out before he said that because he's like, dang, I got to play the Cowboys again. So uh, now they're coming for you, man. Because see, now T. News T. News going to know where you are and he's going to find you and he's going to hit you. I don't know if he's going to hit you late. I think a lot of that's just trash talk, but hey. If he does, that's what it is. But um, Detroit, I really don't see Detroit posing as too much of a problem. They may, I, I think they'll score some. I mean, they've got, they pass the ball all the time. You got to catch one of them sometimes. But uh, my boy, uh, from my boy Roy Williams, not this Roy Williams, not not this boy Roy Williams, but um, my other one that played in Texas, um, he's not playing for the Lions. That's their best wide receiver. Uh, you know, he tore us up last game, last year. I was at that game. It sucked. Uh, it. It was one of the worst games to go to because we looked flat. Uh, we didn't really need the game to win, but because it, it didn't affect us in the playoffs at all. But I think I remember one of the commentators said we had played like a dead cat for three weeks, and now we got to go in the playoffs. And uh, so you know, Dallas. I think Dallas. I think we are going to try to win it. I think we will. I mean, you know, if we come to the Skins game and we don't need that game. We may pull our starters, but we may even play them in the first half because we don't want to come into the playoffs slow like we did last year, you know, coming in on like a two- or three-game losing streak. So, um, Dallas, can't wait. Roy Williams, going to put that star on somebody's head. Uh, Tino, Tino intercepting balls, Brady Jane going to hit people, and then, of course, on offense, Tony Romo's just going to tear it up. The Detroit – uh, defense. I think they're good at takeaways, but they can't really stop anybody. So we just give the ball to Barber and Jones, just pound it down their throat, and go over the top again on Witten and T.O. and Patrick Creighton. We got too many weapons, you know. Detroit has a lot of offensive weapons, but they lost their biggest one, Roy Williams. So um, Dallas, let's take care of business. Let's go 12-1, and one, and let's get one step closer to clinching a first-round bye and the number one seed. How about them Cowboys?